This year, Tate Britain have invited every year three in the whole of London to have their school photo taken for one of the world's most ambitious art exhibitions. And the One Show has been given the chance to follow the project being put together. It's been masterminded by none other than Hollywood director Steve McQueen, a man who's won the Turner Prize for his art and the Best Picture Oscar for his film, 12 Years a Slave. When you look at your school photos, how do you feel about them? I remember my throat hurting. I didn't know why. And I said, oh, yeah, I know why, because my top button had to be done. My mum, you know, doing my top button. You know these kind of things where you, you, you go backwards to through a memory? Yeah. School for me at that age was all about discovery mm. and play. And I, my, my, my best friend, who I was always with, that's, that's what that image reflects to me. It reflects possibility. Yeah. And why this particular age? Well, I think seven years old is a very pivotal age in uh, child development. Um, and it's at that point I feel that people are taking on board uh, things like you know, race and gender and, and class. And unfortunately, a lot of those things will shape their ideas of, of the world, or fortunately, shape sure. their the, the sure. ideas of the world which they find around them. I'm going to visit one of the two and a half thousand schools taking part. And it's one I know well, because this primary school in East London was where I went when I was a kid. Today, Steve's photographers are here to take this very special class photo. People are going to come from all over to see your picture. How do you feel about that? If somebody famous can like walk next to it and they can look at this and say, this is like a cool school, they would be um, maybe smiling and looking at your picture like they're amazed. People will notice me because I'm a boy with long hair. However you appear, just make sure you smile. <laughs> As the class gets into formation, it's time for the big moment. Let's hold it down a tiny bit more. Good. So we'll stay happy. That's Three, 25 two, students one. photographed. Only 69,975 to go before the exhibition opens. I'm back a few weeks later to join the class for a VIP preview of the finished artwork. How many of you are excited to see your pictures at the Tate Gallery? As soon as we arrive, the pupils begin the search for their photo. And it's no mean feat given that the class photos cover every wall of the 300 foot long gallery. After some exhaustive searching, success. What do you think the children who are in these photos will make of this exhibition? Their portrait is hung in, you know, one of the most uh, important you know, museums in this country, Tate Britain. They'll see their face sort of hanging on the wall, so they're going to feel a sort of a sense of, you know, importance themselves. Steve is used to facing the critics, but what do our year threes make of the exhibition? I think he's done a quite, really good job. It's really impressive to see all these photos here and then to see my own. I'm going to bring my cousins and my aunties so I can show them the picture as well. I think it's really exciting to see my face in a museum. It's time to go back to school, but for this class of year threes, their moment in the limelight isn't quite over yet. Some of the photos have been selected by the Tate to be displayed on streets all across London, and this class is one of them. We're almost there. I see right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Tell me, tell me, is anyone in there that you can recognize? In an ever-changing city, these class photos really will live on as a portrait of a generation. Joy, isn't it? No, I, I remember seeing the poster on my station and I just stood there and looked at all those little beaming faces yeah. and I couldn't take, I nearly missed my train. Yeah. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yeah. Well, big thanks to Adam Banshee there and of course Steve McQueen. Uh, the year three is 